What's going on, Pokemon trainers? I'm Trainer Connor 100, and it's time for another YouTube video. It's just a quick update on things. Doing great, and uh, I apologize for the lack of uploads here. As we are wrapping up the Sword and Shield Sega part of the channel, I had so much fun in Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's just one of those games where it was easy to EV train and IV breed, and you can develop teams just like that. But, of course, the main story was the main concern as far as, you know, Pokemon storytelling goes. And I feel like the Pokemon company really didn't do it. They just lacked a certain point in making the story very convincing. But they did a good job on telling a couple of the characters in Sword and Shield, so. But otherwise, the competitive side of things was a good thing for Pokemon, and I hope they continue to do that. Now, with the release of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, that is just a remake, nothing major. It's just gonna be a little, you know, remake of the center region that we used to do a few years ago. Well, <laughs> it's way more than a few, but you know what I'm saying. But back in 2006, 2007, 2008, we embarked on a new adventure in the center region, and it's gonna be a fun time on the Switch, guys. Who would have thought that this would happen? So here's my Pokemon team on the screen here. I'm gonna be starting out with Torterra, or <laughs> I wish, but it's actually gonna be Kirtwood. It's gonna evolve into Torterra. So Torterra was my first ever starter. I picked Kirtwood back in 2008 in my first ever copy of Pokemon Pearl version. And um, Inferno was a good Pokemon, but I'll be getting that in the post game and also Empoleon. Let's not forget about Empoleon. These Pokemon were just really good starters. So, but you know, my favorite is Torterra. And of course you have to use Staraptor because Staraptor is a really iconic Pokemon, especially when you have to use Fly and Defog. But I hear in the BDSP, you can use other Pokemon besides your own Pokemon to do the HMs or TMs, as they call it now, but it is what it is, right? So we're going to be using Staraptor as well as Luxray because Luxray is a great Pokemon and it, it doesn't have a good moveset in Pokemon Diamond Pearl or BDSP as well, but we can make it work. Luxray is just a great Pokemon to have. And I'm also using Alakazam, a Pokemon that I never really used before in a playthrough. It's going to be very interesting as I'll be able to trade with my friends when we get these games, I'll be hanging out with my friends. We'll be able to trade with each other. So trading a Kadabra into an Alakazam, it's going to be a really interesting uh, thing to try out. So Alakazam is one of the strongest Pokemon in the games, probably, not, not, not the only one, but you, you get it. And of course, we have some Pokemon, uh, some Pokemon that had a really tough go first time around, and that's Magmortar and Weavile. Magmortar mainly because you couldn't get a Magby or an Elekid, so you can get, you know, the Magmorizer and the Electrorizer to evolve into Magmortar and Electivire. Those two Pokemon in general are just hard to come by, but they made it easier for us in BDSP, so I'm super excited to use. Uh, it was a toss up between Electivire and Magmortar. I just settled in on Magmortar mainly because it's a cool fire type, one of my favorite Pokemon in this zone region, and I already have a Electric type. So. But of course, I will be breeding um, a Electivire in the future. And of course, the last Pokemon is Weavile. A lot easier to get, but you have to get it later on in the post game, or later on in the main game, like by the Snow Point City area where you can get a Sneasel and you have to get the item for it and then you can evolve it into a uh, Weavile. So I gave some Pokemon that would take out the Garchomp as basically honest, unavailable and Animal Swine is a good Pokemon that's a ground type but it's pretty slow. I wanted somebody uh, pretty fast. So I settled in on Weavile. So yeah, there you go. That's my team. I'm curious to know what you guys are going to be bringing to the table for BDSP. Like what's your Pokemon lineup going to be? And what your plans are in the post game? They are bringing back Wi-Fi battles, but it's not going to be as competitive as uh, Sword and Shield. But I kind of wish it was like that. But it is what it is, right? So this should be a really fun uh, experience for everyone, for all the Pokemon fans who are brand new and are feeling nostalgic. I know I am. 
when approaching these games, I feel very nostalgic. And I think that there's a option where you can uh, go on to settings and change it to DS sounds. So you can hear all the original soundtracks from uh, Pokemon Pearl and Diamond, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, whichever. And it's gonna be a really fun feeling. So I'm hoping that we can get Pokemon like Darkrai and Shaman and all the other legendaries. The Forest Romanesque Park has all the other legendaries that you can get in the games. It's gonna be a really fun experience. So yeah, um, of course, I kind of wish I had Brilliant Diamond because they have the legendary dogs and then in Pokemon Shining Pearl, you can get the legendary bird trio which <laughs> I prefer the dogs over the birds. So yeah, like Articuno, Moshes, and Zapdos, I already have those. The, the dogs, like Raikou, NK, and Suicune, they're way better. Now that's my opinion, but all that is subjective. But anyways, I don't want to spoil anything further for you guys, so I hope you all enjoy Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, as I will with all my friends, like Ruin's Way, the boy, the boy in the boat on the Discord, uh, and Con Man. You are, you are watching this right now. It's going to be a really fun time. I hope you guys enjoy these games also. So, I hope you guys enjoy the new intro as well as um, like my new content. I'll be trying to post more videos as the days go by. I just have to complete the games first. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get some battles in and BDSP. All right, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happen to be upon this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Team Sinnoh, let's get it.